morning, and thanks for joining us for another Eagle Eye. I'm Kaylin Betcher. And I'm Shamika Jackson. Today we'll take a few students who signed for both athletics and the military. We'll also take a look at the challenges that large, at, that large class sizes are creating. But first, I don't know about you, Sharmika, but that extra hour of sleep on Monday was pretty nice to have. I agree, but it looks like students are continuing to struggle. Here's Sally with a closer look at the problem. We've noticed many students sleeping in class. We decided to ask whose responsibility is it for students sleeping in class, teachers or students? I believe that students that sleep in class are responsible for that, but I also think that as a teacher you have some responsibility to make your presentations interesting and kind of stay with them to make sure they have their focus. Honestly, I think it's the student's responsibility. If they're not getting enough sleep before the day of school that night, then you know they end up falling asleep in class because they didn't get enough sleep. Harvard studies show that teens lose most sleep over stress. The average teenager needs seven to eight hours of sleep each night to do good at school and sports or just succeed throughout the day. Students have an obligation to stay awake. Uh, on the other hand, teachers have a responsibility to provide a meaningful, engaging, lesson. It's the student's responsibility. It's like get enough sleep when you're at your house and come to school ready to learn. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Sally Thielen. Thanks Sally. Now, two of those classes shown were study halls. Still, students get some sleep this weekend. While some are challenged by sleepiness in class, other classrooms are feeling a little squeezed this year. Here's Sharnika with a look at class sizes. With class sizes ranging from the average of 34 to the biggest with 42 students, everyone is feeling a case of claustrophobia. Um, I think it's a little overwhelming and frustrating because sometimes we have to sit out and let other people play, and that's kind of annoying. While high numbers for Badman 1 and 2 are forcing students to sit during gym and other classes, there isn't any room to sit. We also have very large classes in honors biology, um, some AP stats, uh, Spanish 4 we have large classes, physics classes, and economics classes. And all of those classes impact lots of different grade levels. These numbers are taking a toll on teachers as well. Yeah, the biggest, bigger class sizes this year have definitely affected uh, our teaching. I have certainly much less time to get around and talk to individual kids and give them the help they need. Without that help, some students lose focus. Just overall, it's a lot more work. If you're looking at maybe increasing per five students per class, and that's times five classes in a day, all of a sudden I have 25 extra students to deal with. It's almost like having an extra class. The problem of claustrophobia doesn't look like it will be improving anytime soon, so students may have to get used to sitting in gym and standing in class. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Sharnika Jackson. Thanks, Sharnika. Just to clarify, the school has seats available for every student in class, but some rooms are at capacity. In those big classes, it gets pretty challenging. Some athletics are closing deals with their colleges and universities. A record nine seniors signed to compete in the Division I athletics next year. Congratulations to those Eagles. Another senior has also signed, but for a very different effort. Here's Misty with the story. At the Veterans Day Assembly yesterday, AVHS students thanked former men and women who served our country. One senior has already made plans to become a United States veteran. Ever since I was young, I always wanted to, I've always wanted to join the military. Last year when I enlisted, my family was pretty worried about me. Um, my dad, he was all for it. My mom, she was really scared and didn't know anything about the military. Uh, after I gave her information, she was more for it and thought it would be a better thing for me. And over the summer, Kenny went to Fort Knox, Kentucky for his two-month basic training, where he and the rest of his trainees experienced several types of physical and mental obstacles. My inspiration was pretty much just the fact that there's so many soldiers over there fighting for, for us and making this world a better place, and I always wanted to be a part of that. Personally, I have no regrets in my decision. I would do it all over again if I had to. I think it's made me a better person in life. I feel like I'm going to have a better future because of it and I feel like I'm already making a difference in the world. So remember to thank past and present veterans for everything they have done and sacrificed. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Misty Price. Thanks Misty, and thanks to everyone who participated in the Veterans Day celebration yesterday. Before we go, thought we'd lighten things up a little with some Jersey Shore. You mean Valley Shore, here's the Valley View. Ah oh yeah, cabs are here. 
It's t-shirt time. I like big tan buff guidos. We guidos be fist pumping like a champ. That girl's a grenade. We got a situation on our hands. GTL. The gym, the tan, and the laundry. That's it. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.